Hi guys, today I will show you how to set up your RDP. Now before setting up your RDP, you need Windows 10 or 11 Pro. If you don't have that however, you can go to this link, I will leave it down in the description where you can get these for free. After going here, you must do these two things which is backing up your current key and creating a restore point if something goes wrong. Then after this you can scroll down, then you must open CMD and run it as administrator. After this you will see something like this, then do these three scripts in order. After this you can use this script to check if you can upgrade your windows or not. If there is professional somewhere in the list then you can upgrade your windows to pro, windows edition to pro for free. After this run this script then you might get an error at 100% or might not. It does not matter, it works either way. After this, you will reboot your PC, restart your PC or laptop, then reopen CMD, run it as administrator, do these three scripts. Then, after doing these three, you can restart your PC and your Windows will be activated. Although, if it is not, there are more methods down below which you can use. After this, you will open Windows PowerShell. Windows PowerShell, this thing and run it as administrator. After this, you will copy this script. I will leave this down in the description and enter it. After this, the second script, you will copy it and paste it here. Then you will see text. There will be more text if you are doing this for the first time. If you get an error, then you need to go to computer management and disable more desktop services after this you can close this and another thing you will have to have the more desktop connection enabled in your settings you can easily do that by just searching it up in your settings after this you can download this this is essential for it to run i have already downloaded it so it is easy it might say it may harm your computer but it is not it is completely safe now, before opening and doing anything like this, you need to go to computer management, local users and group users, and create a new user which can do this by just right clicking and new user. After this, when you have created the user, double click on it on its properties. Now make sure that their full name and their username is the same because it makes them easier to access. After this, you can go to member of and add now write remote desktop users here after this do check names and ok after this click apply and then ok then it will be eligible for using the remote desktop service after this you can just close this after doing this you have, you need to install this or you can do it or just don't open it then open this which can be done easily also create a shortcut which will make it easier after doing this you will have this window but before doing anything with this you will click on the shortcut click on properties then this rdp.exe select it and copy the script and paste it here and here like the user you just created put the name of the user you just created then click apply and click ok after this you can use this port it is a public computer port everyone uses it after this you can do manage profiles add and add the profile after this then you can click ok and close then you can put the user here use profile and it is all done then you can just click connect and you'll be good to go. Now, what? Now, if you got the error that you just saw, you need to go to computer management and and start the remote desktop services. Like unstop it.
after this, if that still does not work, then you need to reboot your PC that will work. After this, you can just click connect and the RDB will start. Now another tip, if you want to like macro and run Roblox on it, you will need to download Blockstra because somehow if you mm, open Roblox on your main desktop and on the RDP one will close and only one will stay open so you will need to download Blockstra to allow multi instance during now in the new versions they do not allow that so we need so you will need to download the 2.5.4 version for it to allow your multi instance to be on it joining now that will wait for you enjoy and also subscribe